Hi guys, welcome to the channel. My name is Matt Garvey. We are here to talk about making comics today. And in today's video, we are going to be talking about getting your comic to be sent off to the printers. Because if this is your first comic, it can be a very daunting and confusing task. So what I'm going to do is, because there's going to be a lot of information, a lot of data I'm going to throw at you, um, I'm going to split this video in half. So this first part of the video, I'm going to be explaining printing in general for comics. And in the second part, I'm going to show you how I get my pages ready for the printer before I send them off. Okay, so hopefully that's not going to confuse you too much. So in this video, we're going to be discussing that. Now, a couple of weeks ago, I had my buddy Rich on the channel from UK Comic Printing. If you are in the UK and you are going to be printing your first comic, I still totally recommend going to Rich. All these details will be in the description, purely because you are paying Rich to actually make sure your comic is perfect before it goes to the press, because there is nothing worse than sending a comic to the printer, getting it back, it's wrong because it's your fault, not theirs. And then those comics are completely unsellable. But if you're watching this, you might not be in the UK or you just might not want to use Rich. You might want to do it all yourself. And that's what we'll show you and talk about in these two videos. Now, on the screen at the moment, you can see the cover from my comic, um, Untitled Genetic Space Comedy. This cover was drawn by Rob Gilroy of Chew and Farmhand fame. And yes, I do have that original artwork. Thanks, Rob. Now, as you can see, this is a traditionally pencil and ink page. Now, what you'll find is um, an artist will use uh, what's called Bristol Ball to, you know, traditionally pencil and ink their pages, which is 11 by 17 inches. Digital artist usually sets up their page digitally in the exact same way. The only problem with that is for you as a writer and a project manager is when a comic's printed, it's a lot smaller than the artwork that you've been given. So what you need to do is you need to find a way to scale that artwork down perfectly before it goes off to the printer. So this is what I'm gonna show you in these next two videos. And just for scale, as you can see, there is a big substantial difference in the size of the original comic art and the finished product. So when we originally make a comic, there are different stages of the comic making process. If you're the writer, you'll obviously be writing the script, then it goes to pencils, then it goes to inks. That may be the same person. And then you've got colors as well. That may be the same person as well. And then usually those comic pages go to the letterer and then you have all that, the logo and design and stuff like that on top of that. Now, if you're not gonna be setting up these pages yourself, you need to find somewhere on this chain of production of one of your collaborators that is willing to actually get these pages scaled down properly. Now, this needs to be done before it gets to the letterer because it is not the letterer's job to scale down your pages so they can letter them properly. And again, if you are not working with an editor or a publisher, this is down to you to actually arrange. So if I was you, you need to speak to either your inker or your colorist and ask them once they've finished their part of the job, would they be willing to scale those pages down ready for print? And if not, it's gonna to have to happen to you to do it and you need to do it before that goes off to the letterer. Now, this is where it gets really, really confusing. Okay, so I'm gonna throw some numbers at you now and I don't want you to get too overwhelmed or too confused. So please don't worry, as I said before, all of these numbers are gonna be in the description box so you can copy and paste them to your heart's content. You know, so just try and follow along and hopefully I'm gonna make this as clear as possible, okay? So when you pick a comic book off the shelf in your local comic shop or you, know, you buy one from a Comic Con, something like that, the standard US comic size for a comic is 17 centimeters by 26 centimeters. Or if you're in the States, 6.69291 inches by 10.2362 inches. Inches. But so that's the comic finish. That's the size of the finished product. But when you are project managing your comic and you are sending that comic page off to the printer, it needs to have what's called a bleed area. And we've spoke about bleeds on this channel before. And what it is, it's an area that sits around the artwork that gets chopped off by the printer to make sure that everything fits in that comic perfectly. Now, this is three millimeters or 0.11811 inches, okay? So every comic page that goes to that printer needs to have that bleed area. Otherwise, you are gonna lose part of your artwork or your text or your boxes, you know, that's not, not centered properly, okay? So this pushes that area up of that comic page to 17.6 and 26.6 centimeters that needs to get sent to the printer or 6929 inches by 10.42 inches okay so that's the size of the artwork that the printer gets but 
As I showed you from that image before, comic artists use what's called Bristol board, those big pieces of paper, big bits of card, you know, to do their artwork on. And they are 27.94 centimeters by 43.18 centimeters or 11 by 17 inches. So what I'm gonna show you in the next video is I'm gonna show you how to take those big pages and scale them down perfectly to go into a file that you can send to your printer, okay? Now, I set up a document that is in the folder that's in the description, it's been in there for a while, and this is what we're gonna to work to, okay? So, as you can see on the page, on the screen at the moment, the red area on the very, very far edges of page, this is the bleed area. So this is that three millimeter bleed area that you can't go into. So when you put your artwork into this format, Anything in that red area, you are gonna lose. It just gets chopped off by the machines, okay? And then we have the blue area. Now, the blue area is an area that may get lost. It's not guaranteed, but normally what we must do is keep our artwork and our letters out that area as well. So what we wanna do is we wanna put our artwork in the white area. That's the safe zone. So anything that you put in there is gonna be absolutely fine, but anything you put into the blue areas, and the red areas, you're probably gonna lose. Well, you're gonna lose the red area guaranteed, but the blue area you may lose as well, okay? So what we wanna do is we're gonna use this as our template in the next video. And as I said, there is a link in the description where you can download this yourself. So if you've got a comic page on your screen, I can show you how to do that live on air, and you know we can do that together. But this is what I wanted to talk about in this video. And again, try not to confuse you too much because in the next video, what we're gonna do is we're gonna show you how to take this template and I'm gonna show you how to put that artwork into that template once it's been sent off to the colors and comes back to yourself before it goes to the letter, okay? So thanks for watching. Hopefully you found that interesting. I will see you in the next video. And remember, if I can make comics, anyone can. Take care.